Hi everyone, I'm Satish and today I'm going to show you exactly how to work with UiPath AI Fabric. In this comprehensive guide of three videos, I'll cover how to enable AI Fabric. What are the key terms that are used in AI Fabric, which are projects, datasets, ML packages, pipelines, and ML logs. How to use out of the box ML model that has been given by the UiPath. And then we'll also talk about how to create the first object as a first project using the out of box models. We'll also talk briefly about how to train the model using the given data set. And at the end or in a third video, we'll talk about how you can deploy your own model, which is already developed or given by the open source community. We'll talk about lots of insights about the AI fabric tool. What are the best practices that you can follow if you are deploying ML skills? So if you want to start building AI enable RPA for your next project, you will love this blog series. So let's get started. The first thing that I would like to talk here is what are the requirement that you need to have before starting AI Fabric project. As you are aware, AI Fabric is a separate tool and it requires a different license. For working with the AI Fabric, what you need to have is you need to have at least UiPath Studio, which is latest editions. It should be 20.4 or if it is not, it should be at least 19.10. So that's the basic requirement for this. And your UiPath orchestrator should be of minimum 20.4. You also need AI Fabric enabled orchestrator instance. And if you don't have the orchestrator instance, which have the AI Fabric enabled, you won't be able to run your models. So we'll quickly go and see how we can enable the AI Fabric and what are the issues you can face while enabling the AI Fabric. But let's talk uh, brief about what is the intent of this video is and how this tutorial is going to be organized. So we'll start talking about the AI fabric and how to enable the AI fabric. We'll understand the key terms in the used in AI fabric, which are project data sets, ML packages, pipelines, and ML logs. Then we'll create a basic project using out of the box ML model. And then we'll see what are the challenges that we face. We'll not cover about how to set up the UiPath Studio orchestrator and other configuration. And at this point of video, I understand that you already have your UiPath orchestrator set up and your studio is connected with the orchestrator. So I'm not going to discuss about all those things. So let's quickly go to the UiPath AI fabric and how you can access that. For that, what you need to do is that you need to log in onto the community portal or an enterprise star portal. If you go there, you'll find a tab, a new tab called UI fabric. And if you click on AI fabric, you will land up on this page, which talks about all the projects you have. Some of the user had said that uh, we don't see this screen. And whenever we click on the AI fabric, we get an error message saying the tenant is not registered for the AI fabric. So let me show you that example as well. So if I go to my other example, this one, this is another orchestrator instance. And if I go and click on AI fabric, so it will say me and throw me the error message saying AI fabric is not enabled for the tenant RPA bots world. The same error message you will get when you don't have the enterprise trial because AI fabric is as of now available for the enterprise trial or enterprise cloud edition only. On-premise editions for AI fabric is coming soon. And UiPath has also mentioned that in coming months, it will be available for the community edition as well. But for now, unfortunately, you cannot test it unless you have enterprise trial and you can request that from using your account managers or you can request that directly by going on to sign up page. So let's get started. Today, we're going to talk about how we can create projects using the AI fabrics. So when you land up on this page, there is a button called create project. For the sake of simplicity, I click on a create project and I will give the name say for example, Google sentiment. That's the project name I'm going to work and you can type the description of the project and then you can click create. Once you click create on a project, a project dashboard will appear and there you would be able to see what are the various components of your projects are, what are the data sets that will be used, what are the packages that will be used inside the project. And then you will also see about the pipelines. Let's park these all items for now because I'm going to discuss about all of these separately. But for the example, 
For this example, we're going to use a out of the box model. When I say out of the box model, that means the model which is already given by the UI path. So I'm not going to create a new ML packages. I'll be using a ML package that is given by the UI path itself. So when we talk about the various components of the AI fabric, so let me quickly go to this screen and I'll share you one diagram which talks about the component of AI fabric. So here you can, in this example, you can say AI fabric is a core component where you can deploy a model, you can manage your model, you can consume your model and you can improve your model by giving the training data set. And once you improve or you deploy your models on AI fabric, you should be able to use that model skills inside a studio by simple drag and drop buttons and you can able to automate your RPA using the enhancement that has been given by the cognitive and AI skills. So let's go back to the dashboard and there uh, we'll talk about the next step that is the data sets. So for data sets, you need to click here. And for this example, I'm not going to create any data set. The reason being the ML package that I'm going to use for this project is out of the box, out of the box package and that package is already trained. So in case you need a training for your training for your model, you can upload your data and you can do it pretty simple. So all you need to do is that you need to click on a create. Let's say example, Google apps is my data, data sets name. You can give it any name. Uh, make sure to give the descriptions names as correct so that you should be able to understand what this data set is all about. And when you create that, you should you'll land up this page and there you should be able to upload the file by clicking on upload button. So let me quickly upload the uh, upload the data set that I have. So I'll quickly upload it. But although this is not a necessary step, this is the optional step because I'll be using a model which is already trained. So when you click on upload, it will be uploaded, right? Once the data set is uploaded, the next step would be ch choosing your ML package or the ML package which has already been deployed by the UI path or you be, been designed by a UI path or you can create your own ML packages. So if you come on this tab, you, you see there are two ways of doing it. So first thing is that you can upload a zip file which contains your trained model and some other files which are part of the requirement of the AI fabric. I'll talk about those details when we're covering how you can deploy your own model. But for now, we'll focus in this video about out of the box packages. So when you click on out of the box packages, you will land up on this page, which is the nothing but a categorizations of what all kinds of ML packages are available on UiPath AI fabric. So here you can see UiPath has already listed a couple of open source packages like image analysis, language analysis, language comprehension, language translation, tabular data. And you can also see there is a package or a ML package which is designed by UiPath, which is UiPath document understanding is also listed here. For this example, we're gonna use a language analysis ML package. When you click on the language analysis package, you will end up on a different tab and there you will see what all different ML packages inside the out of the box packages. For this example, I'm gonna use sentiment analysis. The reason being, I'm gonna use sentiment analysis package to see the comments that has been given on the Google app or Android app are how good. And we'll also calculate the confidence score of that, whether that the comment sentiments are right or not. So for quickly, we'll click here and when you click on that ML packages, a new page will appear and this page will talk about details about that ML package. So if you see the description of this package, what this package is all about, and you can see this package is sourced from the Facebook research, which predicts the sentiments of an English language text and the possible outcome of your English language text would be negative, neutral, positive, or very positive. So that's the outcome that you wanna get and you can also look about input description and output description which are shown here. So input description would be what will be the input that you're gonna give to your ML package and output descriptions talk about how you're gonna get output from this ML packages. And the other important point that you note to here is this 
model is not retrainable. That means this model is already trained. And that's the reason when in the previous step, when I'm creating the data set, I said this is an optional step because I'm using a out of the box package and which is not retrainable. So for sake of simplicity, I'll click submit button. And when I click submit button, a new window will appear, which talks about some of the basic things that you need to give. So for example, I'll say this is sentiment analysis model I'm, I'm going to use package version which is 2 you can verify that from the previous page as well and here we'll talk about the descriptions and the input description and audio description which is pre-filled so you don't need to do anything and you need to click on submit once you click on submit your ml package will be shown here and the status shown here is undeployed that means although we have created a ml package but this package is not deployed it and also there is a tab which calls about the pipeline runs which we're going to discuss in the next couple of minutes but for now ml package has been created if you talk about the details of what is the ml package and what are the key components of ml package are so you can think like ml package is a folder with all of your codes and the metadata that need to that that are required for training of your model and which also serves a machine learning model and the other important point that you can notice here is it got a package version that means it can have a multiple version deployed at the same time now let's move to the next part which is the pipeline pipeline is related to the term called trainable and non-trainable so as i discussed we are going to use a non-trainable trainable model that means we are not going to train it again and the model that we're going to use is already trained and we don't need to train it but what if your model is not trained or if model is trained on the data set that is given by the other organizations but now you want to train the model on the basis of the data you have so you should be able to create a pipeline here and in the pipeline you need to tell which data set you're going to use for training your model for this example we are not focusing on the pipeline but that's a pretty simple all you need to do is you need to click on the create new and there will be a three types of pipelines one is a training pipeline which takes the input of the ml package and data set together to produce a new ml package version so if you train your ml package again with some data it will become a new version right similarly there will be another uh, pipeline type which is called evaluation run so evolution pipeline takes the input of the ml package version data set together and produces a set of matrices and logs so it will give you detail about your model and the logs details and then you have a full pipeline run which essentially runs a data processing functions and training pipeline and evolution pipeline in a sequence so full pipeline run will run both the training and evolution run so that's how it is uh, categorized into three parts for this example we are not going to create a pipeline but if you want to create a pipeline you should be able to do it by simply selecting the package from here no trainable image package is found the reason being i am using a sentiment analysis package which is not trainable but if you use an ml package which is trainable you should be able to see it and then by selecting all these drop downs you should be able to create a pipeline all right so we are good for now and then let's move to the ms skills so so far what we have did is we have created a project and then we have created a data set but that is not going to be used in this project we have created a ml package sentiment analysis using out of the box package that is given by the open source community we have not created any pipeline because that's optional for this uh, example and then we are at ml skill page where we're going to create a ml skill and that will be finally used inside a ui path studio for building a intelligent automation so let's quickly go and click on the create new button when you click on the create new button a new page similar to the previous pages it will appear and all you need to do is type couple of fields and then create so for this example let's say i say it's google sentiment analysis and i'll choose a ml package which is sentiment analysis that i have defined in a previous step i'll select the major version which is two for now we have only one in a drop down because we don't create it multiple but if you have multiple versions, you should be able to select it from here. For now, we'll select it as zero and then say sentiment of 
comments. That's what exactly our project is gonna do. You should be able to enable and disable GPU and it's basically works how your data could be trained or how your model could perform. For now, we are keep this uh, field as disabled and simply click on create. So once you create a ML skill, this ML skill will be created and you will land up on a page which says the status is deploying. It will take a couple of minutes before it will be deployed and then you should be able to use inside UiPath Studio. The status of this could be checked by coming on this page again or it could be checked from the dashboard that is here. Meanwhile, we'll have a quickly look on ML logs and then we'll come back here to see if the ML skill has been deployed and then we'll talk about how you can how we can use this ML skill which we have recently deployed on AI Fabric in UiPath Studio. So let's quickly go to the ML logs and you can see that we have created a ML package that the event has been captured here. And similarly, we have captured another event with the severity ML skill has been created. And as of now, there is no other ML logs because it's still processing. Once it gets processed, you'll be able to see the detail of logs here. And once this has been deployed, I mean, when your ML skills becomes deployed, you should be able to use the ML skill in your Path Studio like any other workflow. All you need to do is pass the input to the ML workflow, receive the output as a JSON file and do the deserialize because the JSON will be coming as a JSON object and you need to do a serialization and deserialization based on the data type that you need to use. And that data output will be used for all your post actions informations. So that's all for this tutorial. We have successfully created a ML skill which is based on out of the box model given by the UiPath open source. And now in the next lecture, we'll see how we can consume this AI Fabric ML skill that we have deployed now inside the workflow to create first RP automations, which will be using a ML skill based automations. See you there. Happy automations. Thanks for watching.